There we go. Okay, so let's touch base. Um... No. Let's touch base. I did a lot of grinding. To wit, Dark Wraith is now a time mage. Lion Rorus is a thief now. And will, and will probably stay a thief for this mission specifically. Gladlev is still a knight. He's actually gotten the worst of it because apparently fucking break skills don't level up a skill. God damn it. And so it's going to be still a monk. But, um, let's see if I can get this properly displayed. Um, everybody has counter. Except Sosagomi, because I, I don't know how this happened. <clears throat> yeah, we have a lot of shit ready to go. I think I'm pretty confident in this fight. I feel like I'm missing one thing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah I know what I'm missing. Now, let's see if I can, um, set a different skill. I don't think I can because nobody really has any of these. Yeah, we want Lion Walrus specifically to have Concentrate. Ow. I am here. Hello. So, let's get fucking rocked at this plateau again. So I don't know anything about this game, but I'm pretty good at XCOM, so if you need any help with that, I'll be over here. How good are you at risk man management, Shitlin? I'm fucking awesome at it. Because it's kind of one of the big things about this game is that you have to calculate if doing an attack is really worth it. Mm-hmm. And I can never see all of the things, like, I'll get an attack, it'll be 80% chance to hit, and I'll nail it and be great. But then I realize, oh no, there are two other dudes I completely forgot about. Ah, oh, my face, fuck. That sounds good. So you weren't here for this, Chitlin. We have a history with this character. Oh, you, side screen, hang on a second. I mean, I... I haven't been here for a while, so... Yeah. Side stream, side stream is up if you care, but this this chick right here, we have a history with her. We fought her once before okay. and we, uh... We defeated her with a rock. I think she's cool. pretty bitter about that. Because the last time I failed this mission, she threw a rock at me. Hmm. How did you mess this up? Um, Milua got pretty pissed, and then just vaporized everyone with crits. I gotta be careful here though, just because um, those black mages are dangerous, they have uh, level 2 spells. This is actually a really bad map for a monk, because their one range skill requires flat surfaces, and this is just entirely mountain. Yeah, you're fighting an uphill battle here, that's... That's destined to happen, but, like... Uh, let's see if I can show off here. Oh! Well, fuck me, I was wrong. I guess Wave Fist can go up and down. It's, it's a really weird thing, because I was doing grinding and I couldn't land some hits on certain people. Hmm. Actually, let's, um... Let's go ahead and get some more attack power while we're waiting. So, he just lets one rip and he gets stronger? Yes, that's exactly it. Huh. But that's not something he could do everywhere, he could do that. Oh, good. It's a great way to get power. Just, you know, ripping that, it. That really, like, really sounds like they're farting, it really does. Ripping ass in the middle of battlefield. <laughs> just, just ripping ass. That's what, that's what we do apparently. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this game is very much a uh, low fantasy war of nobility versus the common folk. I also think I gave Delita a longbow. Is that a problem? No, it's what I want. That's what I'm hoping, actually, because um, I made him an archer. That way he wouldn't run into battle and be a complete fucking idiot. Uh, he's gonna get that spell off. The AI really loves to scam you with spells. They don't even have to think about it. Well, they do think, but they think way faster than a human can. Oh my god. Uh, this is a problem. I don't know what's happening. Basically what happened is two black mages put their crosshairs on the main character and decided, you know, you're gonna take a hot dickin' full of magic. Take a hot dickin' full of magic. Yes, those are words I said, Chitlin. Pay attention. I, 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 I'm, I'm aware, I'm just confirming for my own benefit. It's not every day I get to hear the phrase a hot dickin' full of magic. Okay, so... We might... No. Unless Dark Wraith could cast Shell in one turn, it's really gonna fucking hurt for, uh... Ramza. I mean, he looks like he deserves it. Why do you say that? Just look at the guy. He's just a dude. I don't see what the big issue is. Oh no, no way. Rams is fucking gone. Good. I might be able to buffer some uh, stuff in between though. Now the question is, will I get the cure off before the uh, magic? Yes. Ha ha! Eat a dick! No thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I didn't get that cure off, uh, Ramza would be dead. Also, wow, that mage already got its turn? What the hell? He was hasted. Yeah, I was kind of impressed, actually. I think if I'm if I'm looking at this right, oh my god! <laughs> that ain't right. Uh. Oh. Okay. So there's a mechanic in this game where um. When a mage is casting, they have to wait a couple turns to act before the spell actually goes off. But as they do, they take double damage. And remember how I let Ramza rip a big one before he uh, actually engaged? That you, you, you did rip some ass, I remember that. Now what I'm wondering is, will I have enough of a chance to steal this en enemy's weapon? Because that's the entire point of why I made this character a thief. I mean, you just have to. Oh you just have shit! To beat up, hmm. You just have to beat up the bad lady. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, nice! Dodge it. So steel can provoke a counterattack, and uh, damn, that's some low steel chance. But I think the knight's gonna actually kill Ramza. Now that I think about it. Oh no. Hmm. Can I? Can you throw a heal on your boy? Ramza can actually heal himself if he gets a turn. Speaking of, what's the uh, turn counter looking like? 
Um, Glalev, then everyone. Yeah, you're, uh... The two casters... Looks like Rams is gonna die. Actually, I don't think so, mainly because these two are gonna take their time to cast. And these knights are probably gonna go for either Delita or Sosogomi. Yeah, but you still got a knight next to, uh... She, she's already taken her turn, so I could get Ramza out of there and use his uh, self-cure to heal. Hmm. Okay. The big concern is I want to defang this character because she is the worst. I could possibly do that with my knight, but the odds are extremely shit. So I'm wondering if I should just have him run interference on the mages. Uh... Well, you take her down, this battle's over. Yeah. I mean, you could just, like, focus fire and alpha strike her down, her down real quick. If that's something you can do. You can, but I kind of want to mitigate the chance of somebody fucking the whole thing up. Which is why I'm geeking the mage first. Geeking? It's a Shadowrun turn. Oh. Damn. Block sucks. Also, hello, Hollow. The one person who doesn't use the actual Twitch chat. Since I'm on such low odds, I might as well try and just, you know, defang her so in the future she doesn't do shit to me. Because one hit won't do much to stop this. I mean, she doesn't have a whole lot of health. What? What? Uh, well, fuck you. Huh. She almost five finger point of she almost five finger palm of death to me. <laughs> five point palm exploding heart technique. I should watch Kill Bill again. That's a good movie. Hmm. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Kill Bill was cool, but I feel like some of... I feel like the second one, if I remember right, is a little... slow. Um... Man, Sosogomi is just out... Yeah. Actually, hmm. Can... Yes! Oh no, I can't because Chakra is... Z there's like no flexibility in Z-axis if I remember right. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to heal Ramza with Sosagomi. I mean, I don't think the Kill Bill movies were designed to be fetish fuel. What? But, I, I mean, that that's, that's what King said in the chat. I mean, if you're into... A lady bloodily killing people, I, I, that movie will do it to for you, but uh, I don't think that was the original intention. <laughs> Let's have Sosagomi, you know, accumulate power and just be a nightmare to deal with. Can I re at least reach with a cure spell? You better hope so. You cannot. Well, that dude... It doesn't matter if I heal that dude, it's gonna... He's already at full anyways. But I think I do have to take the one extra time in order to... get more HP out of it. So I think we would we're gonna have to bid uh Delita adieu, because this is gonna hurt. Oh! He hurt his ally. Good job, idiot. Yeah, but Is it a speed run of Final Fantasy Tactics, what? No. How how is that possible? Uh I wanna say pro tip it's not. 
I mean, if the uh, last AGDQ thing I saw with the eight-hour Final Fantasy VII quote-unquote right, speed right. Run about that was any indication, <laughs> any game can be quote-unquote speed ran. One hundred percent. Oh fuck! I hate Z-axis rules in this game. Because I'm just too low to steal her weapon. Just reach up into her pocket. No, this game is kind of stupid like that. I could attempt to blind her. Yeah, pocket sand. Well, pocket knife, but... Ow. And the blind intake, fuck. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's a, oh, come on. Don't crit, you bitch. I think Maluda's gonna get the kill on my knight. Wasn't that your thief? Yeah. Words. Yeah. What? Fuck you, time mage. <laughs> Just bonks her over the head. You'll get the stick. Oh, no. What? Oh, uh, yeah. That guy is in trouble. Yeah, it's probably just a basic bolt maneuver, uh, magic. I mean, it doesn't really matter, he's he's dead either way. Man, with all their accumulators, she didn't get that much, uh, dam damage from that. I know what I should have done, but I've kind of fucked up. Uh, I think I can only spare one more good cure before I need to use raise. I mean, do we really need the guy with the bow? He wasn't really doing too much. No, no, I'm gonna save my thief. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, he hit his boss. Yeah, that mage just fired. Now the big thing is, our archer, the uh, dude with the stars, he's a plot character, so he can't die, but um, the thief has a death counter above his head. In about four turns, because zero counts as a turn, he will permanently die. And I don't oh, want that to happen. Out. Yeah. This is... this is just like XCOM. Ah uh, yes, Final Fantasy XCOM. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like I, I have... Sorry? I, I feel like Final Fantasy XCOM would be better than Final Fantasy X X2. Yep. Also, we have a tradition to keep up with. Okay. Killing people with rocks. Well... You do you, Hoen. Man, that slow spell hurts because our knight has not gone yet. Yeah. You should... should probably do an Asuna or whatever the... F whatever Final Fantasy does. Only 18 damage, what the fuck? Put a remedy on him, I don't know. Why is his attack so low? Uh, has he ripped one lately? Uh, no, I actually can't. I actually kept item on this guy for, so he could have self sustain, but wow, why is that damage so low? Hmm. I don't know. If I'm not gonna be doing but any he's damage. He's kinda useless. If I'm not gonna be doing any damage, I have a better idea. No, 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 not that one. That one. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why is he not good? I don't understand. Now, an interesting thing to note, because I put my, um, my time mages back on a corpse, the knight can't get to her because, uh, the corpse counts as occupying a tile. So I've basically protected, uh, protected my back with the blood of my enemies. Cool. Fuck! 
Oh no. Oh, he's got three turns till he just dies? I think so, because it's basically Doom. Ah. Uh -huh. So Sugumi... I recognize that from Final Fantasy. Yeah. Die, nerd. Did you... Did you res your thief? Not yet. It's taking me a while just to, you know, get to him. I think I might be able to reach him. White magic. Raise. Are you joking? chance to slow not a chance of course is revolution necessary yes cleanse the government with the blood of the corrupt I'll keep blaming until there's a change I don't know why, but that sounds really petty. Huh. And yeah, I believe Ramza has death sentence over his head. He does. Good dodge. Well... If you kill that lady, the fight's over, right? Yeah, and uh, my dude won't bleed out. Oh! Where did all this damage come from? Why did the mage have like a billion health or defense? <laughs> well, she's gone. 75%. Yep. yep. Blame me in the afterlife. That fight was kind of a mess. Oh, that was your sister? No, uh, she was asking her brother, who we don't know yet. Oh. Who am I? Who? I don't know. That's a good question. Like, you know who you are, Delio. There's no real, um... There's no real contest here. Ooh. I think everybody has battle boots, though, so those are kind of worthless. I mean, I could sell them for like 500. Yeah. The spoils of war. Money. That was one of three fights that we have to do. Okay. So I'm going to do some menu questing in the meantime to see if I have anything I could use. Um... I was going for something on Ramza, but I don't remember what. I think it was Hamido. I could also re learn Revive. I could yell someone back to life. Yeah. Also, uh, Sosagomi, the only reason you're not timed out is because I like you, okay? What'd she do? The only she quoted a dumb song. Oh, I think I know the song, actually. <laughs> it's, a, it's real bad. I don't know, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Ram's uh, learning monk so I can get Hamado. And just be a complete lame ass. Hamado. Um, why am I making Delita an archer? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, you seem to be all on board the plan. Also, why, does he, why does he have a crossbow? That's dumb. Use your longbow and actually do damage, idiot. Do those skills not correlate? Uh, crossbow... The, the trade-off is crossbows do less damage, but, um... It, they allow you to carry a shield. But a longbow's a longbow. Longbow's won war in England. Yeah, but crossbows were used to equip the ill-trained peasantry. We are not the ill... Trained peasantry, though we are the we are militia, or not militia. We are actually a uh, trained army. Well, obviously, as you conquer territory, you're gonna need a ill-trained militia to have your back, so that no more uprisings 
uh, flare up after you leave. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying. Tell to... me I'm wrong, Highway. <laughs> well, I can't. Exactly. I want to turn this thief into a ninja, but I forget how. The the class system in this game is super dumb. So I have the level th three archer, the level four thief. Now we need to get Geomancer, which means I have to train him as a monk. Why? Because in order to get level... Th Here's the thing. In order to get a ninja, I need three levels of archer, which I have, four levels of thief, okay. which I have, and okay. two levels of Geomancer. Why do you need to train monk to get the second level of Geomancer? Because in order to get Geomancer, period, I need three levels of monk, which I have. Okay. So I just so... need to be a Geomancer, don't I? Yeah. I was... I, I was wondering what the hell you were talking about. I didn't realize I had, um... What's it called? I didn't monk. realize I had that level in Monk. Yeah. Okay, so what What about a ninja makes... Like, is... Makes Geomancer necessary? I have no idea. I mean, I can kind of see, like... Archer, thief, and even monk to a certain degree, but yeah. Geomancer? <laughs> Geomancer is really weird. Also, chat, you're gonna have to help me out here. Atlas said I had to get one very specific, um, one very specific Geomancer skill because um, it's in every territory, and I don't remember what. I think it was something to do with um, grass. Why are we listening to? Hell Ivy, that's Why are we it. listening to Atla? Because Atla is, you know, kind of fucking bonkers about this game. He likes it so much he cannot lie about it. Hmm. Now, I don't know if I need steel for the next part, so I'm not going to use that. I didn't do anything with Glalev. I'm so sick of him being a lame-ass knight. Why do none of these portraits have noses? It's a weird quirk of the artist. They prefer an oversimplified style with um, exaggerated pro uh, proportions. Yeah, but it just makes their faces all look lacking. Well, it, that's kind of the point. They're nameless grunts. They're not supposed to have an identity, unlike your protagonist who doesn't have a nose. Why does our protagonist have a nose? Is this a world without scent? Yes. You need 20 JP to become a ninja for that one guy. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? I think you're stuck being a knight until I can figure out what I want to do with you, Glalev. Which is a tragedy. Well, Sasagomi can finally learn counter. Now everybody on my team has counter, and it's great. Is that just like a a passive thing that they'll do automatically whenever they're attacked? Yeah, I think it's roughly seventy percent chance. Oh, that's a really high chance. You'd be surprised with my luck. But for some odd reason, Dark Wraith didn't get a lot of JP that round. Like I was expecting to get at least one more time magic out of that. Next area, the Fovoham Plains. Fovoham. Fovoham. Now loading. That, <laughs> that, that's a name that happens when your writer just gives up. <laughs> that's a randomly generated name, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You dickbag, why did you kidnap someone? We had this issue before, when we kidnap people, we die! Who'd they kidnap? Uh, you know our buddy Delita the Archer? That's his sister. Oh. Uh. And to make things more complicated, Delita and his sister are commoners. They are servants to the Beluv clan. To make things even more confusing, both these guys have the same portrait. 
technically no, but I can see why you would make that. Why you? Would I make mean, that. one guy has a turtleneck, the other guy has a scarf. That's it. Also, their cowlicks are different. I mean, I guess. A small stone will make a ripple, but someday it'll be a wave. No, it'll just dissipate with the love. Yeah, that... It's not conservation of energy, it's something else. Momentum? Yeah, kinda. Kill all I sons mean, of bitches! <laughs> I mean, there's a limited range depending on the size of the rock that the ripples will go. Hyra asks. Also, the full. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go on. Hyra says, did you grind out JP boost? Um, about that. There's a reason why I have steel weapon and everybody with counter at this point in the game. Yes, I did. Are we, like... Are we overpowered for this point in the game, is what you're saying? I wouldn't say overpowered because we still took casualties at fight. But we definitely have an array of skills that we should not have. Oh, Meluda is Wygraf's brother. Or sister. Oh, okay. At least that's what I'm assuming with his reaction. So, Scarf guy is the brother of the girl we just killed. Yes. This guy. Okay. The dude, the dude with the kind of half-ass cowlick. Half-ass cowlick, gotcha. Not this guy who has a tu has a total cowlick. That, that, that's a solid cowlick. That's something where if you put hair gel on that, you could stab a man and kill him with it. <laughs> we are actually limited on this fight. We only have three units available alongside our main character. So we need our support unit. Um, we'll take Lion Walrus with us. And the question is... Oh, yeah. Where is my brain at? Monk team. Punch a bunch. My next goal of grinding is to give everyone chakra so I could be even stupider. Wind bell shed. The most brutal battles. Oh, this song is really good. I, I love- I remember this song. Oh man, they have a- they have a chocobo. I think you may have to give up. Maybe. <laughs> I love how Rams's portrait here. He looks so nonplussed by it, like, eh. Oh, I thought he was gonna run away on the chocobo. No. No, that that that's a battle mount. Yeah. Uh, the battle doesn't look too rough. The big the big problems are gonna be the monk, Wygraf, and actually the chocobo, because uh, chocobos are healers in this game. Uh, if you have some magical greens, you could probably capture it. Actually, in this game, you have to take a uh, specific class and talk a monster to your side. You don't even need bait. This just throws everything I know about Final Fantasy out the window. Well, the thing about Final Fantasy Tactics is that it was partially made by the guys who did Tactics Ogre. Or at least it takes the model of that game. And kind of their story storytelling. Ah, damn it. Well, I guess I'll yell at my buddy Delita. Why? Because it increases his speed. I could increase my- I could increase Rams's power, but that motherfucker just punched a mage for 90 damage in the ma last map. I think he's alright. Beowulf. Beowulf. House Beowulf. That's quite a name. I mean, it's meant to be nobility.
<laughs> we were gonna release her, but now you have to kick my ass. You killed my sister, dick! Now, Wygraph is a special kind of name, but I don't know if you- Yep. Oh, what? Oh, damn! Uh... That's not good. That ain't fair at all, what the fuck? Oh, we're gonna get wrecked. I lost a, I lost a 54% uh, chance to live. Sweet. Yeah. That should not have happened. And also, they're, oh, their monks just throw rocks. Yeah, I could I could just raise him. It's it's not too bad. Now I want to check something real quick though. So haven't learned geomancy for the current topography. Is this not a grassland? Um, I mean, it looks like there's grass there, but okay. So I'm on rocks, I bet. Yep, oh. I'm on natural surface. Oh, so it depends on where you stand rather than what you're actually casting at. Yeah. So. Doesn't do a lot of HP damage, but it can cause stop. The question is who don't... I think I want to stop the guy who can instantly one-shot any person on a whim. I think that would be a solid call. Stop right the fuck there, you cockbag. Oh sweet, we could be a ninja now, why we survived this fight. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, I gotta I got, I got to tell you, Hi Wang, this is not looking good. Uh, it's a rough start, yeah, for sure, but we, we're basically both down one, technically. Yeah, but he he's down one temporarily. And I'm gonna get mine back, so it's fine. Spin fist! What? Oh my god! <laughs> I was too short! I was 0.5 a tile too short for spin fist to work. <sighs> I hate elevation so much. Wow. I forgot. Um, buffs? in this game and revives are not surefire things. There's a 3% ch chance that I could fail to revive Ramza. Well, I remember you posted something like that in in a Discord last night, I think. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> like, uh, I didn't like, win oh, the lottery. Could dodge my buffs. Uh, delete, er, Ramza's gonna have to do some, uh, some healing of his own. I think he's the only person that needs healing, so fuck it. Well, he is the only one that got hit. Oh man, did he get hit too. Holy shit. That was hilarious. Good job, Susagomi. You countered. Holy shit, Ramza can do 60 damage on a punch. Don't throw a rock, you have a longbow, you jackass! Guys, I think the lead is gonna die again. That's it. That seems to be his lot in life. Wow, they're really going for it! <laughs> These fucking rocks, man! Why- why the rocks? They're the tool of the common folk. What's my range for this? Uh, that... I mean, this guy does- This guy you're fighting doesn't look common. I mean, he's got a, he's got a little... 
properly cravat and everything. And a cowlick. Ah, uh, she didn't like, get stopped. Unfortunate. I mean, you don't need a cowlick to be nobility. However, I think this gives us a golden opportunity. Because we just need to beat Wygraf to win. That is true. So, I'll just punch him in the back of the fucking head. It's a solid plan. Uh, I hope you get the chocobo. I could get a chocobo eventually, but I don't think I'm going to get that one. Can you ride a chocobo into battle? Um, I think in some fights it's a set piece, but you can't deploy on one. Oh. Uh, the, the monks have no idea what they're doing, so I have a better idea. Actually, mm. <laughs> Time mages are cool. You know what they have? They can tell people to just not move. 56% chance, but it's probably the best menu, though. Why did you go all British when you said that? Maneuver. Don't move, please! God damn it! Also, Wygraf's back in the saddle. Well. Ow! <laughs> Oof. It's okay. Is he already dead? Um. I thought he had more health than that. Your brother Dice Targ was the one who did the kidnapping. Wow, that's a that's a name. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> you can oh you can ride Kokobos, but they take a party slot. Hmm. We're just, we're just having this conversation in the midst of a battle. Look, drama's ver- bye. Oh, okay. Hooray, we won. We won with a critical counterattack. Rams is a beast. And I feel like that fight could have gone faster if I had uh, accumulated rather than yelled at Delita, who just promptly died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a jackass. I only got a high potion out of that. I mean, we didn't do much that fight. Did you just call them Kokobos? I, I've always I thought you said Chocobo. I don't know. I know when I first played Final Fantasy VII, I called them Kokobos. But as time went on, I learned the H was there for a reason. Why did this have to happen to, yourself, to Tetra? Blame yourself, or God. Man, Delita needs to, like, nut up or something. I mean, this is his nutting up action, but b he just basically said, Hey, your, d your sister's here, it's fine, and then it wasn't fine, so he's kind of really sad. Ninja. We should not have a ninja by this point in the game. But ninjas are really dope. First off, they could do a wield. And that's cool. just rad. Can you, uh... Can you avoid battles by sending a ninja in to a stealthy assassination? Sadly, no. We don't use ninjas like we should in a real war, you know. We use them like a I mean, damn grunt. <laughs> I mean, ninjas should be nowhere near the front lines. Another thing ninjas could do is uh, throw stuff. Like, their oh, primary skill is throw X. 
And for that, yeah, we're going to learn. Some, uh, get some shuriken. Uh, we actually cannot buy shurikens in the prologue, because they don't expect you to have a ninja at this point in the game. You're still in the prologue? Yes. There are four How chapters... There are four chapters in this game. We are ending the first one with this battle coming up. How long have you been playing this? Uh, this is our third stream. Oh. So if math is on our side, this this should take, what, 12 streams? Mm, so it tells okay. me math isn't going to be on my side, though. I mean, if you're still in the prologue, they still expect you to learn things, so... Uh, hang on a second. As much as it pains me to get rid of basic skill, I kind of want steel on this guy. Oh, come on! Learn something new! Why is time mage so expensive? Well, then again, she only acted once that entire fight. Dark Race, yeah. Dark Race claim to fame was reviving R Rams after that instant one-shot surefire kill. <laughs> Did you learn anything? You weren't even in this fight. Shit. Yeah, the thing about plot fights is that, um... You don't get a lot of job points for them. The game kind of expects you to, in between each mission, go out and grind a little bit. Which is why one of the first skills you should get ever is gain JP up, because it makes the grinding a lot better. And then you want to get something like Accumulate or Yell, because every action, if it succeeds, gives you job points. So if you want to be a real dick, you go to a random encounter, find some kind of healer or support unit, get all your units to surround it, and then just, you know constantly fart to gain JP. That... That is very <laughs> disgusting, awful. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Form the fart circle. <laughs> <laughs> Form the druidic fart circle. My god, you've been playing for seven and a half hours and you're still in the prologue? Grindcore. Oh, wow. Actually, hmm. Um, you could be a Geomancer, I think. Yeah, fuck it. Glalif ain't doing anything good. Might as well make him a Geomancer. The slow change to a different sprite is, uh, nice, I guess. <laughs> it was something cool at the time. Oh yeah. my god, he can't even learn fucking... Uh... Glalif, why are you so bad? I mean, he's never been trained as a Geomancer. He doesn't know what's up. Yeah, you're gonna learn Earth Magic. And this is like, wait, what? I mean, he's still a sword and shield and heavy armor, so there's he's got that going for him. Well, let's see what Fort Zakadin has for us. Or Zakedin. Zeekton? I don't know. Oh, this is a squad fight. I can only have two people? Yes. So you bring in the leader and a ninja. Actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Hang on a second. Where the fuck? There you go. Because this squad is also going to have Delita, so it's basically a squad of three. And I think the next one's going to have two as well, so we'll put some offense there. Shove Sisagomi and Glala there. Also, Chet, don't spoil anything. Chitlin doesn't know shit about this game. It's not gonna have any impact on him, but at least he'll get to enjoy something interesting. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this hostage situation is still going on. Yeah, because some douchebag decided to take the hostage even farther away, bringing the bloodhounds to his to his doorstep. Oh yeah, Chitlin, you don't know about um the blonde guy to the left of uh, Zalbag here. That is Algus. Uh, He's a dick. Okay. He, he is a noble of low birth. Like he is one of those lower tiers, tiers of noble. But even then, he's so pompous that he outright said in one point, "You, you commoners are dogs to us nobles. Obey us, damn it!" And he said that to Delita's face, who is a uh, commoner. And you know what Delita did? Punched him the fuck out. Cool. Which is good. When somebody says that to your face, you sock him in the jaw. And here's Elvis's response to a hostage situation. Is he here to save the girl too? Nope. What? I mean, what power is a hostage situation when there's no hostage? His plan is That's... bulletproof, unlike unlike the sister. Wow. Yeah, Algus is a complete asshole. In his mind, he didn't shoot a human, he shot dirt. Wow. You'll be glad to know, this is the chapter where we kill Algus. Thank god. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Algus solved the hostage situation. No, he didn't. I mean, in technicality, he did. He, he gave up on the hostage situation. <laughs> exactly. What's the point of... How, how do you get rid of a hostage situation? You get rid of the hostage. But yeah, this is like he's a total asshole and he's going to die today. Good. <laughs> in the same way a sword solves a knot. Yeah. I don't see how that works, but maybe I'm just not imagining it right. By by cutting the rope, you technically solve the knot. Yeah, okay. Instead of untying it. Conditions! Kill the nerd! <laughs> the thing is, I think he actually has high initiative this round. Why did you kill the hostage, you idiot? Yeah, there's one thing that uh, this game loves saying, fate. You will hear fate forever. Also, wow, I didn't realize uh, there was a snow effect here. Um, I need to take a look at something. I mean, if you want to call it that. Wow, Algus has no bravery. That's hilarious. Hmm. But he has a lot of HP, a lot of armor. I should have equipped, brought my thief, uh, my ninja, and equipped steel so he doesn't have that bow to shoot us with. He also has the elemental Why? ability. Interesting. Why is it showing their astrological sign on their? That profile? is an influence. Astrological profile influences um, a variety of things in the background that you would never see. Like a lot of the math is based on bravery, faith, and your astro astrological sign. Huh. Interesting. Now, I know we're supposed to kill Algus, but I don't like mages. I mean, as long as Algus dies, I'm fine. Man, that one's actually kind of strong. I'm late, sorry. I may have forgotten that you do streams or something. You missed the hostage. You missed Algus solving the hostage situation. Yeah, that's what he does. He shoots him in. Or a sister in this case. She's not a noble, is she? Well, take the shot. 
it, it was very much to take the shot. Yeah, the, um... You know, Irving from Final Fantasy VIII can learn so fucking much from Algus. Yeah. Oh. I mean, Irving wouldn't shoot an innocent woman just because she was held captive by a badman. She wouldn't hurt. She would. Irving wouldn't shoot anyone. That's his problem. Algus he would sh shoot everyone. That's his he problem. He shot. He shot so many people in non-plot encounters. Those aren't people. Some of them were. No, they weren't. You just thought they were. I like how Chitlin hasn't even known Algus as long as we have, and he hates him. Well, Algus is a dick, and he even says, "I'll kill you," and then he th immediately the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> this is the peasant's weapon, fucker. I'll kill you! Deluge of stones! I think I might have had to have grind for this mission. Did you grind? I'm sure you did. I mean, did I, I grind to where mission? I grind to I where I gave um, someone steel weapon and then promptly failed at every opportunity to use it. And everybody has yeah. counter now. Fucking yeah. everybody. <laughs> I told you to get it too, so you can counter the counter. But that doesn't actually happen, by the way. But um. I was thinking, did I miss? I missed like two fights, didn't I? I missed the Wygra fight. Yeah, yeah, you missed delete. You missed Ramza dying fucking instantly. Yeah, Wygra will fucking destroy you. He's your first, uh, your your first unique class you really fight. At time slow. Oh my I'm god. I'm not wrong about that, right? He he was a unique class, right? Yes, he, he's he was white, a knight. white mage. Yeah, yeah, he, he's yeah, your yeah, first yeah, fucking white, white knight. White knight, not white mage. Yeah, stupid yeah, he, chillin'. He, he's the first one that comes in with those fucking sword techniques. And, uh, not really a spoiler, you'll find a bunch of those fuckers over the story. Man, the, uh... I completely one. fucked this fight over. This is the worst. Now, this what? is probably this is probably one of the easiest ones that three stuff you gotta do. I mean, Wygriff was the hard one. Wygriff will fucking destroy you. Why are your people sneaking around the back of the castle? That's a very good They're question. Not... <laughs> because tactics... But, yeah. Because that's what you do in a real fight. Also, this is a terrible map for Geomancers, because this is, I believe, the only map in the game with snow on it. I think you're right, yeah, actually. Went. Also, Rams is dead. Again. Dude wow, fold that... Dude folds Just like a up. fucking paper tiger. <laughs> Man just faints at the slightest provocation. I'll kill you, Blip. There goes Delita. <laughs> Just keeping uh, it warm tonight in the snow. <laughs> this isn't going well. Yeah, I think I was a little too gung ho. What I should have done is brought my ninja. Maybe swap you have out a the ninja. Immediately. I promise. have a ninja. He he just okay, so, got a ninja. So you fucking over grinded. You have fucking ninjas already. Well, I kind of went a little nutso on the monk to where I skipped having the level monk to get to the ninja. Well, ninja requires more than monk. Yeah, he. Well, he. he well, I had to do he, a lot. I had to do. A, I had to do a lot of accumulating to get steel weapon. Okay. I think ninja requires like leveled up monk and thief. Maybe? Um, it requires and, four, and geomancer. And geomancer, yeah. It requires three archer, four thief, two geomancer, which requires monk three. Yeah, so that that's why because you got a bunch of stuff opened up by over grinding because you're batting tactics. Here's a thought. If Ramza and Delita are dying by being by having, you know, candles hucked at their face or whatever, maybe check their faith. A lot of people say it's good to have high faith. I myself think it's better to have low faith. Yeah, um Ramza has 70-70 while uh Delita has 70-50. That's why they're getting exploded. I think I maybe might have to reload cuz this some... this fight's a wash. Maybe... Maybe consider bringing some white magic so you can cast uh, shell. I do. My time mage has has white mage magic. Does that have shell though? Yes. Start casting that shit. This can is you put black mages. Just cast shell. Yeah, I think I might have to reload this fight because this is a wash. Can't yeah. believe I walked in just in time to watch you fucking fail. I mean, Rams like got alpha struck. That was crazy. That's what happens when you run flailing into a group of assholes. I didn't. I thought I had just enough range, but no, I had just enough no range. 
Just enough no rage. Oh god damn it! Just I gotta watch the no fucking cutscene again, don't I? Uh yeah, I guess we gotta watch. Uh... We gotta watch dirt die. Yeah, dirt. August shoot lady hostage. Why dirt? I think he does call her dirt at one point. Only because she's a peasant. Yeah. It's not her name. I know, I was being sarcastic. Her name ain't Booty Hole, High Wing. It's Tet. <laughs> it's Tet. I'm, I'm, it's tetra, I'm sorry? <laughs> her name tetra. ain't Booty Hole? Yes, that's what I said. Whose name is Booty Hole? Should I go back to Garland Who? Magic City and uh, possibly get some armor? I think... See, what I said is a reference, but I'm not going to let him know what it's reference to. I want Who's... him to wonder on this Damn one. it. Who... Whose name is Booty Hole? <laughs> Can I just leave this fight or should I reload and try to go back to the city? Because I really don't want to. Uh, just do it. It's, it's Just do it. It's not hard. Uh, this is going to take forever. No, it's not if you just do it. It's going to take forever if you reload six times. That is true. Just fucking do it. Just just dunk a chump. Hey, also, how... How does, uh... How does having low faith help defend against magic? Because you don't Do you believe like magic. You... Yeah, if you don't believe hard enough, it won't hurt you. That's how magic ah. works in this game. Again, may I point out that one of the status effects you can suffer is atheism, which makes you immune to magic. But also makes it where you can't cast magic. Which is yeah, why you cast too. it on a knight. Or a ninja. My atheist ninja. Are there only two... Three bobcats. Oh, those are bobcats. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. See, this is a really easy goblin. fight. All of these enemies suck, and there's like three of them total. Oh, you're just right. Just it's fucking only two, dunk them. There's only two bobcats and a goblin. Yeah, this shouldn't I'll take just two. Just fucking dunk them. Just take a turn to sit there and spam accumulate until they get to you because they're all melee units, and then just thumb them. Yeah. It's a solid plan. Gonna rip ass this fight. <laughs> they just sit here ripping ass until they come over, and then just punch him in the nose. Unfortunately, our ninja doesn't know how to rip ass. What a sentence. That's, that's like ninja training 101. Where, where was he? <laughs> what do you mean? Also, if you feel if you feel so inclined, has your ninja learned to steal heart? Uh, no, he only knows weaponing. Gill for some. Steal heart is a really good move, actually. It charms things, including monsters. Oh, and, oh! It's it's stealing heart in the romantic sense. I get it. Yes. You literally steal their heart. Oh, you, wow. you no, know, you metaphorically steal their heart, Torpo. It's the exact opposite. You literally you steal their metaphorical heart. Oh Just Kali Ma, God. right? <laughs> Kali Ma. As much as I want to do that, no, <laughs> no, steal heart is, is is metaphorical. It works on any unit that is the opposite sex or just monsters because they don't actually have gender. Can't believe there aren't any gay units. Oh, this is 1997. There are no gays in Ivalice. Uh, also, Chitlin, controversial opinion, but that, that movie's not as good as I remember it being. I watched it again recently. What movie? Uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Yeah. Temple of Doom is oh. considered the worst movie, but I like it a lot because it's so <laughs> dumb and fun. I, it's... I, I thought you were talking about the D&D &D movie, <laughs> and, and I, was, I, I was about to ask, why did you watch it again? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, uh, no, Temple of Doom is definitely the weakest, honestly. I I agree, but I still love it to death. Yes, so, punch the man with counter and two accumulate. You're so dead. It's a, it's a shame you're using ninja so early, because you can't buy shurikens yet. Yeah. Or we books. can buy swords, though. My favorite thing to do is throw a book. Yeah, I saw that, what the fuck? The one class of weapon is book. You can huck a book at a man, it's great. Throw the book at him, ah! I hate you. It's pretty much made for that, although books books are also my favorite weapon in the game. Because do you know how you attack with them? I'm guessing you've smacked them out of that dude in Berserk who just kind of crushes a man's skull with a book. No, you read a passage from them and brown note them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. You read a book and it makes that boiling sound, and from like three tiles away, a dude just shits his pants for like 40 damage. Wow. Uh, you read the dictionary and brown note your enemies. It's it's great. Those 
actually. Thor's relatively far, but I'm not in range, so I'm just gonna bide my time. Yeah, I keep getting no experience in JP over there. You'll be a ninja Look, forever. That dude has the most JP out of anyone on this fucking team. Why is that? Because he ripped ass for a long time in front of a chocobo. God damn, would you please stop saying <laughs> that? I'm sorry he ripped ass. <laughs> it, it makes a lot of sense if you were here earlier in the stream. Does it? Because I wasn't here that much earlier. Basically, well, Chitlin said... The... Go ahead, Chitlin. They, 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 they do the accumulate move, they they pop a squat, and then it makes it sound like they're ripping ass. That's what, <laughs> that's what I saw. <laughs> Why are you ruining streams, Chitlin? <laughs> Behold the stank. Aw, oh, are you kidding? At least yell is yellow is, is green. Man, only 12 JP, what the fuck? Oh, he has concentrate on, that's why. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is actually pretty good. It's really fun. Yeah, it is. I don't it, watch it's, enough movies. It, it, it's stupid. It's really stupid. But it is fun. I, say, I didn't say it was good. I said it was fun. There's a difference. <laughs> I like fun movies. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Fun is the most important thing. Like the D&D &D movie. The D&D &D movie was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I hate all these wrong opinions I'm surrounded with. Maybe you are the wrong opinion, Chitlin, Mr. Okay, wrong but can opinion we at least hammer? agree that the ending of the D&D &D movie is fucking awful? There were two D&D uh, &D movies? What the fuck? Wait, there's there's a second there was also D &D an movie? animated movie with Lucy Lawless doing a voice. Oh. Keith or, Keith or Sutherland was in it, too. What? Well, I don't but, care about that, but Lucy Lawless but, is cool. But yeah, Chitlin, what is your opinion on the ending of the D&D &D movie? Um, didn't they just bring the annoying guy back to life? No, it's not even that. It's, they went to the grave of the Black Buddy, uh, and all of a sudden, j just a fucking, it it's like, you can go meet him, and they all turn to oh, orbs yeah. of light. They turn to orbs of light and fly <laughs> off. <laughs> just for no reason. You know what I think my favorite dumb movie is? Sarah. <laughs> No. How high? I yeah, no, vaguely I remember one. how high, but I don't- I can't recall any of it. They, they take the, the ruby that they found, some magical gem. Yeah, uh, yeah. The I elf says, now. you can meet your friend. <laughs> so did <laughs> they just kill- the grave, So was the end of that movie- orbs of light and fly off. So what you're saying is the end of that movie was them killing themselves to meet their friend. Ooh, no, no, they were trapped. Not, actually, yes. Uh, Snails was. Oh god, yeah, his name was Snails. <laughs> Forgot the about actor that. who played Snails was, in fact, Marlon Wayans. Yes. Yup. <laughs> we, um, we have a lot of we have a lot of money. Sure let's Marlon. uh, let's gear up our dudes with chainmails. Either way, it's a bad movie. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> I, I liked it. I just- I also did. appreciate that the- the token black guy dies for no reason. Uh... Yep, it- it- it was Marlon Wayans. Yep. Yeah, no, he gets killed by the- the-, the one of the bad guys, but it doesn't serve any sort of purpose, because his friends just sit there and watch. I know! <laughs> it's like they <laughs> wanted to get rid of him! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Also, there was the Empress who's just kind of there half the time. <laughs> but it's okay that she dominates the minds of dragons. Because apparently the source of all magic is dragons fucking. Yeah, I can what? hold you that. What the fuck is wrong with this movie? Uh, yeah, because basically when, when a dragon is hatched from an egg, magic is introduced into the world. Uh, so, so this dragon's which fucking one forever. Is this? Is this Dragonlands? Is this? Is this Dungeons and Dragons? It's, it's literally it. It's, it's the 2000 it's, movie. It's I the... know it's the 2000 movie, but where'd they get this from? They. <laughs> oh. uh, well, they they got it from a 
a scriptwriter being contracted to write a movie about, quote, Dungeons and Dragons. And he just sort of went from there. Uh... Also, I hate also this. Also, the fact that they they got Jeremy Irons, and that makes up for just about everything. Oh, my oh he, fucking God. he has so much fun, and it is Je great. <laughs> Jeremy Irons. Uh, that, I, did, I remember watching that. I, did not, scenery. I never watched that whole movie, but I remember Jeremy Irons just being a fucking putz. Like, in the best way possible. <laughs> yes. He, he is ham in a fucking it's half. Just straight up, bring me the head of Peter Pan. <laughs> I just want to go to a city and get some gear, goddammit. <laughs> Keep fighting. Yeah. Kill. Destroy. We still have more money. Punch e face. Punch e face. Yes. Also, I love that when they, they like a huge chunk of the adventure happens off screen when they get trapped in the map. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> trapped in the what? They, they, they. they... Like, 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 two of the characters get trapped in a map for, like, a brief stint in the movie. <laughs> what? And they... It, Go it, on. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's great, because, like, yeah. they have all this exposition and backstory and adventure <laughs> they go on inside of the map. <laughs> but you see none of it. They just went to a map and then came back and then they had all this adventure. <laughs> Wow, this movie sounds like it's terrible. It is. It's pretty great. Uh, perspective. It's it's not my fault. I'm the only one who knows how to have fun with a movie. <laughs> also, the, the main there? character and his love interest are fucking insufferable. That's how you deal with a bad movie. Man, we were watching, uh... We were watching Get Out recently, and we just could not stop talking during that movie. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a good movie. Yeah. It, it, it was a real good movie. I, I I feel like I want to watch it, like, with less talking. Same, honestly. But, yeah. Because I feel like I missed some vital information. <laughs> that was your own fault. Probably, yeah. That's it, I would actually recommend watching it on your own. Yeah. That movie is great because the title drop happens like 20 minutes in. And yet, yeah, but even then, it's good because you expect it to be a lot less subtle than it actually is. It's, it's also, good because it's not you, you from what you expect it to be. Yeah, that's part of it. I thought it was going to be Spike Lee. Spike Lee I, couldn't write a movie that good. That's the point. It's weird because I went into it expecting it to be kind of like ham-fisted about as subtle as an anvil on the head, and it was actually good, and that was very surprising. I, I mean, the fact that it was made by a comedian <laughs> was really impressive. Yeah. Who knew that a comedian can write drama, but a, but a drama producer can't write shit at all? <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Spike Lee! <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Took you down a peg on this sideway street. Yeah, that'll, that'll give you some material for your next movie, I'm sure. Man, there goes Spike Lee in our stream. Our one viewer. <laughs> 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 I mean, what else has he been doing with his time? I can't hit anyone in this match. What the fuck? Maybe stop trying to punch them in the face. Donkey punch them. Tactics. Use them. Also, I, I I love in the D and D movie that one of the main villains just has blue lipstick because he can. I, is it explained? Nope. No. They never <laughs> draw attention to it either. He's just got blue lipstick because why not? Yeah, but then he gets worms in his ears, and that kind of takes up the majority of my questions. The, the thing I the thing I feel bad about is that a D and D movie can be goofy and stupid at all the same time, and have a man shouting loudly at the air like it did. <laughs> but it's. Still not going to be as good as an actual D&D session, and somehow not half as dumb. <laughs> I know. The second movie made an excuse for the blue lipstick. We, we, we need to watch the second movie. No, sorted. what's great is the second movie has nothing to do with the first, if memory serves. Like, it doesn't continue. Look, I'm just saying, <laughs> if we manage to get a couple half-assed actors in a good, set, good you know, prop kit, the D&D game that we ran would be a really great movie. <laughs> 
I want someone to act out the shell. It'll be great. <laughs> Good job. You only helped your enemy. Like how? Who? Who? Who would you cast as the shell? I know exactly who. But Gary I forget. Gary Busey. No, 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 no. Oh my God. <laughs> no. Who's the guy who plays um? Fuck. What's his name in the? Uh... Who's the guy with the weird glasses and the knife? Chron in Chronicles of Butcher Bay. I forget his name. Vin Diesel. Yeah, I would cast Vin Diesel for the shell. <laughs> no, 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 that's not that's not right. No, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I would the, I would think that the, the one who guy, would be the character, the guy with the big glasses and the knife. <laughs> His name eluded me so hard. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. I know who would be exactly the best for the shell. Is it Willem the? Is it is it, is it Willem Dafoe? No. Yes. No. Really? No. Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> Just the perfect amount of screaming, yes. It would be nothing but screaming and flexing and eating human flesh, and he, Terry Crews would be all behind that. I can't wait to see this. Like, okay, Terry Crews, I need you to channel the primal memories of the man you just <laughs> ate to learn how to it use this armor. So I just like the idea of Rux being played by an actual bag, and whenever he goes to shoot, you just see a gun on the ground next to the I bag. I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna not cast as any actual actor. I was just gonna say make, make Rux a Muppet, but that works too. <laughs> you think we have the oh, money man. to string that fucker up? <laughs> <laughs> we spent it all on Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't breathe. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody's just us. Actually, trying no, to act. no, no. Terry Crews would be far better for the Viridian engine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how useless he was. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, what the hell is that character's name? Anyway? Um, Turk and Hawk. The Viridian. Turk and Hawk. That's right. The Viridian yeah. engine. TPR's weird little wrestler. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Terry Crews would be better for Turk and Hawk. We need to get a narcoleptic to play Loco's character. <laughs> we can find one in an alley somewhere, I'm sure. You say wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, Loco's no, no, character no. was actually pretty active. <laughs> yeah, true. Just actually. a tiny orc man constantly promoting his big buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Shit, you're right, that's what I was thinking too. Oh, God. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> why are we why are we making the Dread Dragon Temple a movie now? <laughs> and uh, why am I on board for this? This would be so awesome. I, I think we need to get started on the script. Well we already we, have we the, already script. Wrote the script. It's based on it's based on a not real event. There was a third D and D movie, what the fuck? It only took us seven minutes to go through this battle, and all we did was shitpost about getting our D&D &D session a movie. Wait. I, know who, I know who Greg should be, too. Who? Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> Can we please have Alec Baldwin and Terry Crews in any movie together? A at all? Yeah, actually. That. I'm gonna go here for like... no items whatsoever. Okay, oh, but, but what's fuck. the name of Shar's character again? Uh, Mera. That should definitely be Helena Bottom Cotter. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Helena Bottom Carter just with the feathers glued to her. <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't believe this dumb campaign is getting so much potential. I hate this. <laughs> Your movie should be directed by the guy who directed the Death Note movie on Netflix. Oh, All right, sure. No. It's so <laughs> gross. That depends. How good was his actual directing? Not the not the acting or anything in it. Everything but, involved was terrible. I mean, there were some good. There's like one good actor who was too good for his role, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, Which is L. The guy who played L was clearly better than his role demanded. <laughs> Should I turn Glalev into a uh, Geo... Actually, no. We learned that turning Glalev into a Geomancer kind of fucking sucks in that fight. Well, you could just learn him the ice move, too. 
No, I can't because he doesn't have enough JP to learn a fucking Geomancer move. Maybe if you fucking went to a fight as one. Yeah, I keep forgetting to turn him out. We don't. I got three fucking green points to go through. I'm pretty sure it will. You're forget. gonna get into a, into a into a fucking fight on the way. You're gonna get into a tussle. Uh, change job. Rock man. Geomancer that shit. Throw stone. I throw stone. I'm a geomancer. <laughs> sir, <you're, laughs> sir, that's not geomancy. That's just throwing rocks. <laughs> Win in Rome. Throw stones. Yeah, he is 30 JP off. God damn it. Go just take your Geomancer and do a fight and punch a cat in the face or something. Does Time Mage have anything? Yes. Look, just, I, I, I cast rock. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, he God, who what's... cast the first stone. What is the spell, the requirement for... Ace. Time Mage he 3. Is... You know the saying, he who is without JP must cast the first stone. So I can go into Oracle right now, actually. Yeah. Oracle is kind of meh because there's a special character just better in every way later on. But it's not bad. It does its thing very well. And more importantly, it opens up Mediator, which is fun. Any of you guys ever see uh, The Last Airbender? No. no. Like, like, you mean the movie? No. no. Yeah, the movie. No. Okay, th there's a great scene where they're in the Earth Village, and, like, the Fire Village is attacking or something, and, like, they get, like, five Earth guys to just start dancing around and throw a really tiny rock at the Fire People. Like, they could have just picked up the rock and thrown it, but no, they had to <laughs> have this big elaborate dance number <laughs> to lift the rock via telekinesis or whatever the fuck, and it's just, it, it's a great movie is what I'm saying. Why are you wearing this shit armor? What's wrong with you? Don't wear that. Wear the fucking art. What? Ah, I hate Glalev so much just because he's always under the worst circumstances. I can't believe you hate your own sub so much. It's not him specifically, it's just that his character just decides to not develop in the way I want. And it's so fucking irritating. Uh, the guy who do, who did the Death Note movie is apparently directing Godzilla vs. King Kong. Great. That's, uh... Well, there's the fight. Am I yeah. seriously gonna teach this man how to use snow magic for one specific fight? I think That's you have problem. to. Yeah. And let me tell you about being a cleric in a campaign with a, a death cleric in a campaign that doesn't have any fucking undead, <laughs> okay? We found a way to make it work, Hush. That's only because I just kept using Manipulate Stone. <laughs> you were more Could like a rock fight. cleric. <laughs> you found I... ways to make it work. I mean, yeah, I... there were no undead, but there were dragons, and that's close. I hear there's skeletons here. There are no skeletons here. <laughs> Gregorium wasted his fucking time in that hole. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, look what he got out of it. He got a new lease on life by force. But. Could have made the diamond a dong, is all I'm saying. If he did, I... he wouldn't have to go chasing the dong for the rest of his days. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, maybe one day I'll DM again, but man. It wasn't the fault of and you we guys. Told you it's, it's, it's yearly. You'll be back next year. It's also that, and during that time, I was also DMing a number, another campaign, so doing two at once really just burned me out hard. Yeah, that's that's understandable. Boy. Thanks for the follow, whoever followed, because I can't see. Level 12k. Hey. Level 2k. Thank you. Why do we have follow notifications? Because I wanted a reason to hear Travis Touchdown say Moe on stream. I mean, you could just make a soundboard and ha hear it whenever you want. Yeah, but it's not the same when you when you do it yourself. And I think it needs to be cycled out eventually. We've been hearing it for a while. Like, I've been watching uh, Sykes' uh, Grand Theft Auto 
series playthrough he's been posting. And it's getting really annoying that his stupid follower notification constantly pops up and his he goes, hey man, woo boy. No, no, that's not that's not the follow notification. That's a that's something else. It's just one that goes Aah! and shows a stupid face. Uh, is that most follower notifications in most streams? Unfortunately, yeah, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm saying they're a bad thing. Like, like, like the bits cup and bad follow notifications are the sign of the worst streams I've ever seen. Well, I have the bit cup for a reason, since everybody likes to throw a penny at me to save. That reminds me, I need to watch some more commercials and get some more bits. It's like a swear jar, except for bits. Yeah, like they say, don't give a shit, give a bit. That's what? really fucking good, actually. No, it wasn't. <laughs> don't reward him for that. What was? <laughs> I, I mean... Aramin, mean, you say I wasn't making up the difference, but I was beating the shit out of every corpse with my baseball bat. Yeah, I gave, glory. I gave... I killed everything <laughs> once it was already dead. I gave everybody a magical weapon, and his was a baseball bat that exists purely to make sure dead don't come back to life. <laughs> I didn't have a magical weapon, I had a magical cod piece. I mean, let's not I was forget... a magical weapon. <laughs> let's not forget that when we were, uh, you know, in that room full of people who were turned to stone, because nobody had stone to flesh, I instead <laughs> decided to break every fucking statue with my baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing could come back. I appreciate what everybody did in that campaign. It was really fun. I should just host more one-shots instead of, like, long-form games. Well, it was yeah, meant to be a one-shot anyway. We just, we just cucked it up something mm -hmm. fierce. I call it a one-shot because the, once, the camp once the mission was done, the characters were just dumped. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I wouldn't say gone. dumped. Those things lived on for a great many years to come, and the variety of things we can't stop remembering them for. <laughs> I really you did. You cannot kill that which is not already dead and is ingrained in your mind. I really did want to put them in my custom setting, and they're still kind of there. It's just that I haven't done my uh, my uh, other campaign in fucking months. Uh, we we already know that the moment you get a chance, you're gonna have a fucking Windigo covered in dinner plates show up in one of your campaigns. <laughs> no, no, actually, what I was the first one was probably gonna be the bad because I need them to meet an informer once, and I feel like just there are many reasons to put a bag anywhere. Yeah, with a gun. Just you know, in a room with a bag, and the, and then somebody starts talking to them, and they're like, "What the fuck?" And the thief who's probably got sticky fingers will see the bag, and then when he opens the bag, a gun's in his face. Gently push the hand out with the barrel of a pistol. Like, I mean, if you do ever introduce the shell into your other campaign, like, like have them hunt the uh, shield Wendigo in the plains or whatever. Well, one plot involved a uh, Rakshasa and... Well, I say you're, Rakshasa. You're essentially a Chupacabra at this point. One of my plots Pretty involved much, yeah. um, time dimension hopping frogs and a crazy cat demon working together to, like, harvest humans for food. And I was thinking I would set up the shell as kind of like a false front. Like... Actually, he was unrelated at all. He's just some asshole in the plains. <laughs> just some asshole Wendigo. <laughs> just, just a shell running around, pelvic thrusting and sucking goats. It's just a <laughs> shell of his former glory. <laughs> And then when they they that probably is... and the worst part is like this group likes to recruit NPCs to their side, so they would probably try to sympathize and redeem the <laughs> Wendigo. Please redeem the Wendigo so we can feed you rotten human flesh. <laughs> Which he still has a mountain of in his bag. I, yeah, oh, I man. Think likes to do that a lot. I'm so glad you failed that wisdom check, Chitlin. <laughs> it was the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm even happier that we managed to force Chitlin to eat the ashes of his dead best friend. <laughs> Suggestion best is friend. a hell of a spell. <laughs> he is my best friend. 
I sent Jitlin on a vision quest by eating dead people ashes. And I murdered the hell out of him because he was racist. You made the ashes and I made him eat them. It was great. It was teamwork. It's a shame you had to be such a dick, Greg. What the fuck was that guy's <laughs> name? It was like Christopher Lionblood, I believe? Christopher Lionblood, yes. Yeah. Uh, and that I killed was... him in all of a single fucking turn. <laughs> it was excellent. <laughs> and fucking Loco cast one spell in that fight that only fucked me over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I still enjoy when the fucking crow saw a shiny chest and went to open it and almost <laughs> killed me <laughs> specifically. It almost killed everyone. I did worse because yeah. it almost mixed in with the fucking fog and just destroyed the room. Yeah. <laughs> That's a moment when you were DM where we were like, oh, do I be a dick? Oh, I gotta be a dick. <laughs> no, you were being a dick, and I'm like, I guess I have to dispel it, because otherwise I'll be a dick. If I kept that fog going, it would have killed everyone in the room. I was planning to have the uh, poison dissipate, because it was being uh, diluted by the, the fog. But yeah. <laughs> oh, that campaign is so dumb, I'm glad I uploaded it, even though I quote... Fill the room with poison fog. I'm glad I don't need to breathe. <laughs> uh, I am my own lung. I I, I I still kind of regret just not fucking off with Chillin and just ignoring the <laughs> final fight. That would have been great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, granted, we did we we, 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 we turned into a, a dragon for a reason, but you know. I mean, you turned into a dragon, I didn't. Yeah. I chose not to dragon. I was too busy being What's spiteful. I'm still not sure why, but the guy usually DMs for us won't let us do Lord of the Rings anymore. Probably because he's he's. There's something weird when you pl when it's kind of a weird mindset I have, and I could probably relate. Having like people just you know copy something in D and D kind of ruins the experience a little bit. Yeah. Like what the experience is is just going fucking nuts. Like we, Torpid, we didn't even the... really finish the campaign. He just said, "All right, guys, you know what? I'm tired of y'all's nonsense. We're not doing this anymore." Ah, uh, that's lame. Okay. I was gonna say, Torpid, yeah, remember, the, he's remember probably the... fine with our nonsense, but apparently, Lord of the Rings is where he draws the line at our nonsense. Okay, so he's he's got a he's got a really low tolerance for nonsense. Then I've done nonsense within the last like four days. But yeah, you know uh... what happened in my last in my last session of Pathfinder? It involved field goal punting ghosts back into the earth. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Torpid, remember the guy who was trying to be the mysterious stranger from Fallout 4 in our Pathfinder game? And dragged a man into the corner of a room and shot him in the face! Yeah, the moment <laughs> I saw that, I was like, oh no. Oh no. I, I gotta, <laughs> it was a face-off. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. I gotta do something. It was, it, uh, That was not a great moment, in my opinion. Said, the game for me became good, at least the one I'm in. When I decided, man, investigators get sword canes, but those are really shitty weapons. What I want instead, let's give them some boots and just start kicking people. And it went on from there. <laughs> what if instead of a knife, you gave a rogue a boot? Sneak attack directly in the ass. <laughs> That's great. I... I... I've, I've, I've thought a little bit about, like, how you would actually, like, follow up a character like the shell. And, like, the, the, the only thing I can come up with is I need to make the cod piece on the next character more... <laughs> Intricate? Yes. Make it like, a like, battle spike. Make, make, make that the dick. forefront of... Of combat, yes. I mean, to be fair, I quite enjoy how I just kept slapping the cod piece with the light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now don't, don't just put a spike on it. That's too late. You know what you do? No, no. Put What's a up? brass ram's head on the front. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I enjoy in a, a friend of mine, a game that he's been running with, with my character, among others. Which, my character is a fucking hardball grandma who's terrible at everything she does. Oh, Kingdom Death. <laughs> um, Actually, the Blizzard is the like skill it. we're looking for, right? I mean, just fucking press select, read it. Snow ice, yes. Add silence. What a what a great ability. Sure, let's take it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Might actually, so, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. Basically, against wizards. Our, our, our thing has been uh, we're, we're running a detective agency, doing 
solving jobs. And our first job that we did, uh, we didn't actually get the guy who killed the person we were looking for. Instead, we helped him out, and I got booze out of it. And on top of that, uh, the person who died became a vengeful spirit that just started possessing water. And, you know, instead of actually helping him, like, like move on and find solace, uh, we shot him dead. You shot a ghost <laughs> dead. That's Literally, I have a magic gu No, no, excuse me. We didn't just shoot him dead. I shot the fuck out of him, but my teammate who killed him ran him over with a magic motorcycle. <laughs> That's awesome. You drive uh, by the ghost. What's also great is, uh, no, he, drive he drove through the ghost. He charged the ghost. But, uh, and also in that same campaign, uh, at one point we were trying to help someone because we heard someone being attacked by the water elemental. Well, water spirit. And, uh, that said person decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna charge them. I'm gonna charge that, that water spirit that's attacking this person. And they went straight through the water spirit and almost killed the, uh, the person we were trying to save. <laughs> well, it was almost, so it's, it, uh, it all worked out in the end. And granted, right after that, we went to a bar to go look for somebody, and my character decided to try some of the whiskey. It tasted like shit. So she hucked it at the wall for shits and giggles, and immediately just pissed off the one person we were trying to find. I'm hoping that the uh, game I made a fighter for, like, picks up soon because I'm actually quite enjoy I kind of want to play a not you know wisdom based character for character for once <laughs> and shit that first round was actually great to just not have to think and just kill shit yeah wizards are boring it also, what you do. I don't like wisdom I can do intelligence but I, I can't do divine casters and also it was fun in that campaign because uh, at one point we went to talk to a pastry salesman and the one teammate who tried to talk to him was an awkward shit so he fucked up everything he said so I had to then go harass and intimidate that fucking pastry salesman and then one of my teammates who was nearby watching was so awkward that he got noticed even though he wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> So the three of us are now barred from getting pastries from that guy. Oh no. <laughs> Can't get no pastries anymore, no. Um, recently in my Pathfinder too, keep bringing it up, uh, we fought a lich known as what we would call the world's worst lich. I mean, he had some really long French sounding name, we just started calling him Jack Marrow. But uh, let's see, he cast Circle of Death on the party, which will automatically, will fort save or kill anyone who's level 9 or under. We're level 10. Then the next turn, he cast Ice Prison. We stuck a door on it and opened it. Then the next turn, he tried to cast a maximized fireball, and the gunslinger just hit him in the back of the head with a gun butt. And then the next turn, he tried to cast Dimension Door, and he got hit in the back of the head with a gun butt again. Man, by that time he by that time he finally got knocked down by being kicked in the face like eight times in a row. <laughs> and it's like, do you want to stop now? You broke my face. I mean, we tried. And then, after all this, because he comes back anyway, we first of all stole his spell book because he's found a different compartment, left, and then did ascending to see if we could be pin pals with him. And he said yes. You're such nice. a small child. Because he was in his tomb and didn't want to leave and it was comfy and had no one to talk to. One of the knights is named Masahira. I feel like that's not an appropriate name, but okay. This terrible lich watching all of his spells fail repeated, just repeatedly. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like in one of the previous battles, the chocobo was named Simone or something. So Simone the chocobo makes sense at least. I feel like Does it? Masahiro the knight is like a culture clash. I mean, what is a samurai but a shitty knight? Oh yeah, Atlee, I forgot to mention, the reason we shot the ghost dead is because I w we were trying to console the dead man's widow, because we found his corpse. It, it, we went to the widow to let her know, and we were trying to console her. My character specifically was hugging her at the time, and the ghost just appeared outside the house, tried to figure out what, they were, what we were saying, and then critically failed his fucking insight check. And thought I was trying to attack her, so he grabbed me through the fucking window, 
It yanked me outside and slammed me into the fucking ground repeatedly. It hurt. Why so, were you? Wh why were you trying to cook this man's wife? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's how you know the stream has gone to shit. Let me roll back a bit here a second and say, why do you think the name Masahiro is out of place in a fucking Japanese game? This isn't like Disgaea where you'll find dudes named Mr. Jabroni. No, it's not the fact that it's uh, a Japanese game, it's the fact that it's set in a medieval setting with a white guy named Masahiro. I mean, there's a black mage right in front of you, she's not named Bonquiqui. Well, that's because it's not black because the skin is black because you can't see the damn thing because of their arts. You don't know that. Oh my god, why can't I get... Can we revive her? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it just has... No, you can't. It just well, has stats... Well, 90% is the... plot of this game. It has... She has stats <laughs> and she has the star that indicates she's not dead. So I was just like, wait, can we, we just can revive, her? revive her? That would be it'll amazing. Be, it will be a 0% chance if you try. Okay. I, f I figured as much, but it just kind of hit me like, wait a, <laughs> wait a goddamn second. I don't want to live life being used by others. Can we just shove his head in the snow? I'd love to, but I have to, like, walk all the way the fuck there. Are you alright, me using you? Shut up and- what? Wow, Delita already turned on us, what the fuck? Man, it's like Algus pissed off everybody. I it's mean, screw this guy. Solved if he was just not here. Yeah. Stab him right in his damn five head. <laughs> oh my- it always blows my goddamn mind when I see that damage value. Kill him. Dead. <laughs> It'd be better if it was a rock, though. Oh, of course. Sometimes you just gotta cast fist. <laughs> the lottery, blam. Speaking of. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the lottery. <laughs> you won, Delita. <laughs> that fucking rock. Holy shit, way. <laughs> It's great. Why See, do you our keep losing to a thrown rock. Well, we've killed with the thrown rock too. It's it's a theme. <laughs> what do you mean our <laughs> mission? You're not a Baloo, Algus. What the fuck? Baloo? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Baloof. Bail. Baloo. You got the letters backwards, I think. You coward. You have 30 bravery for a reason, you cocksucker. Actually, the more you talk in the fight, the lower is bravery. Oh, no, it starts low and gets higher the more you talk, I believe. Oh. That's gonna be So fun. it's imperative that you try and beat him up fast, because he's just gonna get more cocky the more you chat at him. I did not just realize that was a mechanic. In his skull. Just insert fist into skull. Okay, let's let's see if I can do some of my own patent and magic bullshit. Did you actually bring geomancy to the front? Yes, you did. It didn't work. Fuck. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. More importantly, it's still instant range damage. It's still yeah. good. It's a shame that the one that causes dead can only be used in the most fucking s li limited scenario possible. I mean, there's there's one that's even more rare than this, and that's lava. Lava ball is a geomancy uh, is a geomancy that causes dead sometimes, right? Which is kind of fucking awesome. It can only be used when you're standing on lava. Oh good, which you I can't stab do normally. You can only stand on lava if you're flying, or if you have the move on lava ability from geomancers, and it's only found on one map in the game. Which you don't go to in a story mission anyway. You just go there for random battles, maybe. Did I lose Brave? I mean, Chess says I did. Wow. Is 
So Ramza loses bravery while. I know, Al I know Algus gains it. I don't know about Ramza losing it. Well, Ramza was 7270 before this fight started. Now he's like, oh my god, I forgot about this. I guess he does lose it then. Damn you, Masahiro. <laughs> he tried to bop him with the stick and run. Actually, Algus might kill the ninja. Yeah, you're gonna. Damn it. That's annoying. I bet he thought the ninja was a commoner. Okay, good, that's fine. And Glalov can still snipe the, the wizard. Range is five, it, so one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna make it idiot proof. As you see, Elemental is also a little AoE too, even though it's uh, pretty wide access limited. I'm hoping this works. Good. The system works. Yeah. Statuses are pretty powerful in this game. Probably because there's a fucking lot of them. I think this is the first game that oil became a status in, in fact. Yeah, uh, bombs have oil. A few other things do too, but pretty much just bombs. Yeah, Wave Fist is hilariously good. It's part of why I try to have you get oh it. Oh my god! Destroyed! Jesus! It's like a rock made of your spirit! Not even his own auto potion's gonna be able to help him with that. Just put a hole in that fucker. I'm gonna laugh if he runs in potions. No, he's just gonna shoot me face. I'm gonna try and charge too. He's gonna get it though, because the AI cheats. Yeah, cheating, yeah, that's what he's doing. Bastard. God, three turns of cast rate is what the fuck. A 50% chance to before. revive. He might be dead before then. Ninjas are really fast. That's the biggest problem with it being fast in this game. The ninja's fast, which means he dies is really fast. Is he in an auto too. potion if I hit him with elemental? I'm pretty sure he will. I mean, what else are you going to do? Throw a stone? Up there goes Protect. Bup, bup, bup. Hey, hey. Come on. Cross big your money, fingers money, and hope. Money. Yeah! Eat a dick, video game. You're going to die in a second, probably. Oh, oh yeah. Let's go up and punch August in the fucking face. Punchy face. Oh, potion. So, you know why he doesn't auto potion every time? It's one of many abilities that's tied to your bravery being a percent chance it'll happen. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, no. Wow, that is running you close. Damn it. Uh, I don't have a line of sight. Mm hmm. If you're very good, you can throw a stone at him. He can't because A, all lines of sights are blocked, B, I didn't give him common skills, sadly. If only you brought rocks. Why do you need a throw when you can get a throw stone? Oh, this is gonna be dumb! Yep. Wrong, body coward! The AI knows. I will. I will block I Master's you. back! Oh, that's good. I stole his hat. What a shitty hat. It really is. Hmm, how much HP, uh... Oh. 
Speaking of, did you ever give thought to the idea of just fucking stealing Algus's crossbow? I don't. I did, but the ninja was too far away. I should have put him in the first deployment zone. If you just yanked his crossbow, he wouldn't be able to really shoot you at all, or even do charges or anything. Uh, the correct term is yoink. Gank. Wow. Good job, Glaliv. You saved the day. Let it snow. The I'm cold is rock. Okay, they defeated by weaklings like you. I don't know, man. That is the most fucking stereotypically evil thing I've seen all day. No, no, you mi No, 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 you forget the hostage getting shot in the chest. I, I wasn't here for that, but I mean, like, in terms of... In terms of dialogue? Oh, that's yeah. That's straight up evil. How could I be defeated by weaklings like you? I mean, all we really need is him to... <laughs> offer us a chance to join. Ah, yes, yeah, so look at my Together we could rule the world. Oh, he like, did do he, that. Like, he asks, how can I be defeated by weaklings like you? And you just whisper into his ear, blame yourself, or oh God. God. Blame yourself, or rocks. Actually, in uh, Ogre Battle, the SNES one, that is something the final boss does. Throw rocks? No, convinces, uh, asks your teammate, join me and we could rule the world. And the are you, really, you ready for a really crazy mood whiplash? I think I know what you're talking about. This! Well- What? Huh? <laughs> no, I'm fine, it's okay! Lita, it's you mentioned there was gunpowder in there. Yeah, they did mention it. But you did not expect, expect the map to just fucking explode. So, so the guy got shot, crawled back in there, and then blew himself up? Yes. Yeah, because the wow. Death Corps don't care about their own life, they just want to fuck over the nobility. Well, that's not- that's kind of it, but not really. If you read the backstory, you know why they're, they're so mad at the nobility? Be I think it was because they, um, basically took their army and kind of, like, used them and disposed of them? Not quite that. They didn't fucking get paid. <laughs> oh. They fought in the war and didn't get paid for it. Yeah, they mentioned well, that... they did mention the war, but I don't I, I didn't realize it was over a, a, a dump paycheck. Oh no! Mm. Uh, well, I mean, the, there, the war itself wasn't over that. They fought in the war for the Hokuten Knights, and they didn't get paid. They just said, "Well, thanks for your service. Get back to your fucking villages, you fucking fives." What? Why are we fighting these guys? They seem like the good guys here. So we just spent what because seven nobility. hours in the prologue. Now we're yes, back. Congratulations. At the... Now Congratulations! Back. Now the flashback is done. Welcome to the game. Yeah, Rams is back in his Black Knight black armor. No ponytail. And he looks self, older. Yeah. He is. Also, he the is best older. character. I, I, he is older, but I, I think it's great that they actually bothered to change his. Yeah. His his they'll do it. They'll do it again later too. I mean, they still refuse to give him a nose. So is that really character development? No one has noses. I know, it's bothering me. You'll get used to it. Even the Gaff Guardian with his fucking mustache has no nose. I think Simon has a nose, kinda? No, he does not. No, he doesn't. No. Just a smooth slope. <laughs> I'll go too, I won't be a burden. I just remembered he's my friend. We're not getting paid for this. See, he's got his he's got his nose in the right place. He's like, remember those fucking death core? They didn't get paid. I want to get paid. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of why I enjoy Gafgarian. A lot of the characters in this game are, you know, sensible. Like, why the fuck would we do this? We're not getting paid, you idiot. I mean, I don't care what kind of cause you have or how righteous it is. If you're not getting paid, don't do it. Pretty much. Yeah. Also, this is one hell of a title. The Manipulator and the Subservient. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about Rad. Yeah, you get these people. You're, you're not going to use them. Are, they, are we getting our army back? You get everyone you've seen in that cutscene, pretty much. Yeah, but do I get... You, 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 yeah, you keep the people from Chapter 1. Okay. So you really have no reason to have these people now. Well, I'm gonna keep a guy called Rad. Is... I don't know about Alicia, though. 
You can what At you want to do is boring just and basic. Take all three, strip their shit, and then kick them out. That's true. I could throw those swords they're carrying. <laughs> I see you've brought ammunition. Thanks a lot. You can go now. I will say that you can use them for one cutscene in the late game in the PSP version. But they are, for all intents and purposes, just generic units from here on out. The cannon fodder. Oh, our overworld don't move sprite change. Don't, don't go to Dorder yet. There's a, there's a battle in Dorder. Yeah, I also forgot to save before, after the uh, chapter 2 cutscene. That's why I'm telling you to do it now. Yeah, I was like, don't move yet. Does the... Uh, does... Does the uh, PSP version have noses? No. no. What's the point of that, the upgrade? That's, the, that's sort of the thing with the tactic series, the art style, no noses. Also, do me a favor in your formation. Go over to Rom's here and check his Squire class, please. Did it change? We'll take a look and find out. Oh yeah, we get a couple new skills, I forgot about that. We got Cheer Up! Yay! Yeah, you'll have learned to cheer yourself up and get oh. some brave out of it. Is that permanent, or is that just for the battle? Yes. Huh. The I thought way, this was the a way game raising, you couldn't lie about. The way raising bravery and lowering bravery, raising faith, lowering faithful, that works, is that when you do it, the amount you get is per the amount you get is temporary, but a percentage of that amount is permanent. <laughs> so, like, you use it, you'll raise your brave by, like, five, but you'll get one permanent brave raise out of it as well. <laughs> you got a mato! I've been waiting for this. Oh, uh, yeah, the nut punch. Now the question is, what job do I go to next? Well, probably Geomancer. Uh, we, we've done so many Geomancers. I don't want to get a lancer, but I don't know. Well, you don't have the stuff to. Thief, be a thief. Why a thief? Because you need to learn this shit eventually. Also, you've unlocked poaching now. Um, if you may look at thief, you'll see one of their support abilities is called secret hunt. Now, what that does is when you kill a monster or you know land the killing blow of a monster with the character who has secret hunt equipped, you get that pelt and take it to a shop, which you will now have access to in trade cities and that turns it into an item. Ma a lot of items can only be gotten through poaching. I'm mainly torn on this because I would have to be an archer to become a thief. But it's yeah. probably the best yeah, path. You would. Think of it this way. Why use charge when you can just wave punch things? That's oh, true. he doesn't even get a sprite change. No, main characters Problems don't get sprite, sprite changes. Well, special characters don't change sprites. Uh, the randos do. But characters who are special, or for that matter, just have their own special job, don't ever change sprites. Hmm. Also, you got two of those fucking knights down at the bottom. They're guest characters, but you have a white knight and, or, and a dark knight. Oh, really, cool. I'm pretty sure that Gafgarian is the only dark knight in the game. Yes. In the PSP version, you could get a dark knight, but it's such a fucking chore to do it. It's also not even that good. Yeah. Recruit Batman to your team. Who, Gafgarian, or...? Whoever the Dark Knight is. He's, you he's on your team now. He's the, he was the one with the mustache and his head constantly looking up for some reason. Yeah, Gavarian's still around for a while. It will actually clear things up for me. Get Wave Fist. Yeah, Wave Fist. Imperative is, to learn. Wave Fist is very nice. I am a monster. I love it. Um, can't learn any Geomancy. I could learn a monk skill. I mean, you're not gonna learn anything good. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till we get like 350 so you can learn chakra. What is stigma magic? It basically Pure pur statuses. Yeah, it just purifies it's, it's, it's you. Soon. Oh. That's not what I would expect stigma magic to do. Learn throw balls! No, yeah. Shurikens will be good when you can fucking buy shurikens, which will be a while. Can I learn anything with the. No. You unlocked Mediator! Already? Yeah, it's just level 2 Oracle. Hmm... I mean, yeah... But also, I'm going... take a look at it and see if you have enough JP to learn Invite. I do. Yeah, that, that's the one you want this for. It's, you can do other things too, but... Invitation is kind of the whole reason Mediator exists. 
Mimic Daravan. I like the skill because it basically says, bore your enemy to sleep. It is exactly that. You, you, you mimic the tutorial of this game and put your enemies to sleep. Also, you can insult them to berserk them, which is really nice. That's why I wanted to be a mediator, so I can insult people and shoot them. But uh, I digress. Besides that, invitation for those who don't know the game that well. If you can successfully land invite on an enemy, which is like 10% chance tops, it's really not good. You get that character permanently, like in your party after the fight. You have successfully converted them a la the Conquistadors. Man, uh... She has a lot more skills. But yeah, um, the core classes are basically their squire class. They get JP up and all that good rot. Yeah. They don't get Accumulate, but in return they, they get, you know, Holy Explosion, which is generally probably better than Accumulate. So, for, for Chitlin over here, special oh, characters what? cannot rip... Special characters cannot rip ass. What's the point? Holy got... Explosion? I think we got time for one more fight before I have to call it a night. This is the best fight anyway. It's just not long. This is a blind playthrough. This is a blind playthrough for Chitlin and um, Torpid if he's still around. I think he went to bed. Torpid, who only gets sleepy on streams. Uh, anyway, Oracle. I didn't bring Sosa going last time, so let's bring her along. And Lime Wars. Show them the power of ninjutsu. Though, to Wait. be fair... There we go. I almost forgot that, uh... Rams is not a monk anymore. Uh, Show to be power of punch and knife. To be completely fair, uh... Just about every game you play is a blind playthrough for me, because I've not played any games. I mean, you played Alone in the Dark. Like, like, I played Alone in the Dark, Condemned, and Pathologic, and I think that might have been it for the stuff you've played on stream. Look at this man's square jaw. And I guess the first Stalker as well. What's John Mellencamp doing paying off a thief? 2,000 gil Boy, ahead, yes. what the fuck? That's just fucking jump change. I'm pretty sure John Mellencamp has a nose. Just, uh, you are not gonna ever get over that, are you? Nope. Nope. Is he a bard? Or is he just a thief? Thief. Okay. I was gonna say, it's a little too early for bards, isn't it? I don't think you ever actually see a bard. Or no, a dancer, for that matter. <laughs> That's a good animation. <laughs> Best part is he's going to put his hat back on in a second when you're not looking. Yeah. Oh, they moved the camera just far enough down. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can get the fuck out. Yep, there it is. <laughs> put his hat <laughs> back on. Now, you know something fun? What I've done in this fight before is I have successfully invited the thief with the special pro, the special, uh, with the special portrait. That one there. Marty. You invited but, Marty uh, McFly. But when you do, his his face will change to a generic thief once you win the fight. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That was a... Okay, so Dark Knights are really good, actually. See, they only have two skills. But one is stab a man from a distance and get all the HP that you stabbed him with. And the second is the same thing, but for MP. That spell looks so much more devastating than it was. And then there's the fucking Holy Knight. So yeah, you have those two. And also, I believe at the moment, they follow the guest rules of cannot die. Yes. There is a point where Agrius stops becoming a, a main character, a uh, guest character, and then she could die. But you could also make her a dancer. I mean, if you want to do that, sure. Besides, there's one caveat to these knight characters here with their special sword skills, is that they need swords to use those skills, in fact. Okay. Yeah, so if you just... pick them a dancer, unless you're using a sword somehow, you ain't using those skills. Yeah, Sosogomi just doesn't have the hutzpah for uh, being a monk. And Sosogomi, why do you gotta be so weak? Fight me. <laughs> Fight me, Atla. 
I think it would have been I funny mean, if you said bite me. I mean, That's when you think right. about it, you would try, but the problem is that you can't fight well, so that wouldn't go too well. This is gonna hurt. Do you really expect someone like Sosagomi to fight well? Not in the slightest. All y'all can go to hell, man. I'm more saying that you're too nice for your own good. So it looks like the death zone is basically this kind of cordoned off area. Yeah, no, that, that's actually a terrible fight. So scummy is too nice for own good, and Torpo can contest. I love the sucker punch things. <laughs> ah, I'm a goddamn idiot. I believe an opportunist is a good thing. I mean, if it works, it works. Yeah, exactly. Do you know if you snap your fingers and, look, and point up in the air, people will look, and when you're not, lo not looking, you'll punch them in the face? <laughs> All I'm Even saying is you're... Go on. It, it's, it's a good rationale. You're trying to hurt me. Why should I give you any sort of respect? Yeah. Hey, y'all. What's that? Punch. It works. It works really well. Come to find out, honor in combat is really fucking stupid. How is Marty yeah. not dead yet? Ishkibibble, I'm not being mean to Sosagomi. It's a compliment. She is very nice, but also... She is one of the two hearts and or souls of our stream. The other one is Charlotte. Oh my god. Like, and even are, then, Charlotte's really bitter. Are, are, that's, that's because of us, I think. I'm sorry, no, are we forgetting the time Sosagomi, through nothing but pure spite, sent Hai Wang on a digging quest in, in Okami? That, that was wasn't hilarious. spite! That was... She was she I she could not remember up. what to do, so I sent him on a, different, on a quest until I could remember what to do. Yeah, no, that's the other thing is, you forget that she had asked Festivor. <laughs> <laughs> if she should tell Wang something was up. <laughs> That is what you're casually forgetting. <laughs> oh, wow. Gafkarian is helping. Oh, wow. I've never seen this happen. See, Thank you, this feeds, in, this, this feeds into the too nice thing. Because she trusted Festivore like a fucking idiot. That was a bad idea. Come on, silence. Damn it. Still, they do good damage. Uh... Now, if you're playing ninja, what I find is you play ninja until you get dual wield and then you leave forever. Yeah, I can see that. I don't like throw. Why would you spin fist when your ally is right beside you? No, no, I was looking for wave fist, which is still not going to be enough, goddammit. But can you throw a rock? No, she doesn't have throw a rock. She has accumulate and that's it. Uh, go back to Squire and learn to throw rocks, I wink. Man, the range on Holy Sword is really low. It's like two tiles. It's just Stasis Sword is like that. Other ones get longer. Lightning Stab is like four or five tiles. It's really good. And then Holy Explosion is just a five line. These archers are going to be a pain in my ass. Popping squats over there in the corner. They really don't like Dark the Ninja. He is the weak one. They know what they did. Oh my. Uh, is this, oh no, he's gonna hit your orc. I thought that wizard was just gonna bop him in. Throw a rock, throw a rock, throw God damn it. Was he at 10 HP? Yay. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I could have thrown. No, I used a uh, fist. I have fist moves on him. I can't throw a rock. Ah, you could. You could have <coughs> had him win the lottery. I know, I know. Uh, Someday someone's gonna do like a prom hack of this and change it to the lottery just because you keep saying that. <laughs> it's, not, it's a really good name, I'm sorry. I'm not saying it isn't, I'm just saying, hey. Uh, hi Wang. Yeah. Would you like me to smack Ishkabibble with the rolled up newspaper of of moderation? Yes. For perpetuating please. the pizza meme. Okay, thank you. 
Now, so you know, you're using too you're using too broad of a stroke here, Sosagomi. What you want to do is you want to you want to mod in one of those uh, casting lines you get sometimes when you cast a spell for a throw stone that just says you've won the lottery, throw stone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good, Loco's all right. Yeah, but he's in the Discord, so I can't actually smack him with the newspaper. I was actually kind of worried because of the earthquake in Mexico. It didn't hit the whole Mexico. Did, did it hit Loco? Where the fuck no. is Loco in Mexico oh, anyway? That's Not the thing I, yeah, I wasn't sure yeah, where Loco saying, was. so I was Because I'm like, it just said the earthquake in Mexico. I'm like, well, I don't know where he is, but I'm pretty sure it didn't hit the whole country, dude. Yeah, it was basically just Mexico City. Yeah. That's, 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 that's kind of an important part, though. It's like the it's important part. Oh, yeah. yeah. Burn yourself, dumbass. <laughs> it's like people saying, Hey, yeah, like, it didn't get hit by the hurricane, right? And, like, I'm, I'm on the other side of the state, actually. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> can I can I time out the Kuoshi bot? <laughs> it's a new question. I don't know. Actually, you can't, because I didn't give him mod ship. Died for loco sins. Ninja, don't give a fuck! Question I have is why are you wasting two attacks on a man with 5 HP? I don't know. You're bad at this. I have Gafgarian to carry me, it's fine. Oh, you could have spin punched these two. No, I. No, I Yes, you yeah. could have. Yeah. Yes, you could have. Oh, yeah, They're I could have spin punched the Black they... Mage, yeah. They were right there. This You're thief is just going away, holy shit. He's got one HP. Nope, 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 He's nope, gone. Nope. Oh, wow. And here's the part where you can't figure out how to hit him, which is going to be the best part. How do I get up there on the roof anyway? Now, now Ishkabibble's using the cool sheep. I can't ban anybody now. <laughs> <laughs> this is disappointing. That's a problem. Because the, per the one person with life just died. <clears throat> oh. Oh. You caught me, Afghanian. Yeah, I got a little, uh. I got a little, you know. Too eager to use my, uh, what's it called? Got a little too eager to use my, uh, mage up front. Gotta use tactics. Ogre. That's a three off lethal, but darkness. My green is butt stuff is not a show, I love. <laughs> Bet you wish it was. Answer solved. Monks are great. Bonus points if it just shanks you right then and there and leaves. <laughs> what? <laughs> no one wins today. Guys, guys, please don't fight. I love you very much, and I will also punch all of you in the head. You told me to fight you. You can fight me, you just can't fight each other. Can I well, be a coward? Just, no, I can't. That's just that's just arbitrary, then. How do I fight this man? It's a shame you didn't stay no, in the No, no, you see, only she's allowed to be hurt. That, that, that's what you're missing here. I don't want to be a Sosugami. I'm not that nice. If you just stayed Monk long enough to get to revive, this wouldn't be a problem. I actually had an opportunity, but I forfeited for Hamado. Yeah, for Hamado. Hamado. Tomato, Hamado. Let's call the whole thing off. And you got on to me for a song, Raph. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't At ask. Least I'm without more. Yes! We have upgraded <laughs> from throwing rocks to throwing swords. <laughs> <laughs> Resident Sword Hucker. <laughs> I just want to imagine. Going anyway, I don't know. 
Just I appreciate these two just chatting to each other around opposite sides of the fucking house. Now imagine Gefgarian just kind of like hanging off the ledge, peeking his head up like, We're going this way! Gefgarian's busy taking a piss in the alley, actually. <laughs> just drinking a potion and pissing it away. Yeah, pissing the night away. Just like Tub Open. God damn Just it. Just like Tub Open. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Ooh, I can dual wield Mage Mashers now for no for, for no practical reason. Uh, shits and giggles. I mean, that double chance of silence, that's pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. It's getting to the kind of time of the night. That's a shame, because the next fight is really good. I'll save menu quest for when I'm not streaming. So, Highway. Yes? Next fight, I want you, I do want you to do one thing for menu quest, though. Uh, on stream? If you want to. What's that? Unequip Gafgarian. Oh, yeah. Huh. Strip the old man down. Also, if you want to make him like a wizard or something. <laughs> do something funny. For the, specifically the next fight? Yes. Also, if you want to hit remove unit 2, kick him out. Kick him out. You can do that? Have you ever tried? Let's see. I think I'll just... No, that wouldn't give him healing capacity. What's the most worthless thing I can make Gafgarian? An archer. Probably, yeah. Have you tried to kick the old man out yet? Hang on. Working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't mind me to strip an old man down. Shut your big mouth. I want to obey your order. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> so, the uh, way this works... You, uh... Every unit in the game who's special has their own unique quote for being kicked out. And if they're guests, they'll tell you why you can't kick them out. They'll just say, shut up, pretty much at you. <laughs> like, even, even up there, Rom's just like, I'm the main character, fuck off. But... Of course, you can also kick out randos, and they have their own lines if you want to kick them out, although, of course, they you can kick them out. It's just everybody has their own line. Are you thinking about seeing what Ramza's line is now? No, no, I was trying to see if I can make him a uh, thief yet. Yes. You yeah, know, Gifgarians is really good. Just shut up! <laughs> hey, boss, get out of the party. Shut up! I looked away from chat for a minute. Why is it, why are people asking if I'm a real girl? What what? Chitlin, get on it. Women on the internet. Oh, oh oh my I, have God. The chat open. I mean Torpid has a gun too. Don't make me smack everybody. I didn't even look at chat. <laughs> Alright. I think that's a that was a pretty good stream, even though part of it was, like, going through a bunch of random encounters just to get some fucking equipment. Let's see who we can host. And by who, I mean no one, because, well, I guess I could throw you all Is my buddy Jade Star streaming? Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> what about Slow?